Hello there, my name is uh, James Wells, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, an EQ uh, inside uh, Logic Pro X um, to simulate a hardware EQ on a hardware mixing console. Uh, what I've chosen to do that with is, is a, uh, a picture, actually, of, uh, of a copy of a couple Neve channel strips. Neve was like a very famous console back in the 70s. It uh, had really great sound. Um, and it was sought after and is still sought after today um, in recording studios. Um, this is actually made by Shep. Um, it's also vintage. Uh, however, it was, um, you know, a copy of, a, of basically a Neve channel strip from what I understand. The range for this one, and, and it's really neat that you get this range, which is great. Um, but the range uh, f for the, uh, the high pass is going to be between uh, tw uh, 27 hertz and 270 hertz right so uh, here you can you know just I like to know where we're starting um, so I'm gonna start at 27 hertz here now that being said um, the you know more often than not you're gonna use a much higher setting than that you're gonna want to probably start closer to 75 uh, that seems to be the, the common uh, setting for uh, for a high pass filter now this uh, knob here has a an amount knob which corresponds to the uh, octave per decibel uh, knob over here. Uh, it doesn't really show uh, exactly what decibel per octave it's doing, um, but I'm going to set it at you know 24. It seems to be a, again a pretty common thing. It's what um, you know our instructor used in in the uh, in the course material. And the same thing over here for the uh, low pass filter. See, uh, my range is. Uh, 18 to uh, th sorry 3.9 to 18 kilohertz right so we're gonna just pull this up here um, to uh, 3.9 K uh, 3.9 which is right there okay so there's 3.9 K and again I'm gonna set it at 24 it seems to be pretty common and, and a useful setting for that Okay, so next in line here we have our low shelf. Our low shelf is, uh, is uh, you know, again, it's, it attenuates the sound um, or boosts the sound, but at a consistent volume it doesn't fully cut it. So uh, as it was explained uh, in the course material, it's, a, uh, it's good for, um, for, for mixing purposes um, to pull things out of the way, get things out of the way of each other. So in this case, uh, our low shelf uh, on the console here um, again, it gives you a range, so in the hertz range, you're looking at uh, between off, <laughs> well, and let's say in this case, 33. So we're going to say 33 um, all the way up to 330 hertz, right? So again, we're just going to set it up at the starting point. Up here, again, we have another shelf, and this, is, of course, is our high shelf, uh, which is this guy right here. And our range for our high shelf is um, off or 15 kilohertz. Um, sorry, if you go from low, it's 3.3 all the way up to 15 kilohertz. So uh, we're going to start with 3.3 uh, down here. 3.3K. Uh, and that's going to be right there. Beautiful. Um, our decibel, again, we're, I'm going to start it, preset it down at uh, uh, minus 6 just as a preset, and I'll leave the cue at one. Working from the bottom, again, the low end, um, right here we have our uh, our first one, which is going to give us a range of um, 220 hertz all the way up to 1200 hertz. Um, and uh, we're going to just activate this guy down here. And we're going to, again, set him to, you know, about where where we want them to start. And you know, as you can see, I can pull them up and down. And that's great. All right. So 220 hertz. Um, I'm going to set preset the cue again to one. Seems to be, again, a common setting. Um, and then on the other side here, which is our next one up, um, we've got a, you know, a range of uh, 1.5 kilohertz all the way up to 8.2 kilohertz. So I'm just going to, again, set it uh, to 1.5 kilohertz. Actually, that's so I can see it a little better. Um, let's preset this stuff, and we're gonna go to one and a one and a half. Right there. 
Last but certainly not least, I'm going to show you um, how to save this as a patch so that you can bring this back uh, anytime that you want. Case um, on Logic, it's really easy. If you just click the um, where it says factory default, that's basically gives you all the different uh, preset EQ settings that are available. And there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, but then what you can also do is you can save a user patch uh, as a save as right here. So you click save as, it's going to open up uh, the channel EQ presets. And if you look in your folder structure here, these are plugin settings. And this is under channel EQ. So we're just going to rename this. I'm going to call it uh, a Shep dash Neve. Um, and that's it. I'm going to hit save. And now that's saved. And now whenever I want to pull that up, it's right here on, in this uh, user setting here. So in short, you know, I showed you how to set up uh, an EQ to, to emulate a piece of hardware um, as best as you can. And, uh, and, and I also showed you how to save it as a user patch so it's easy to pull back up again. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And thank you.